So this seller in particular, they had a bundle, right? It was three shoes for sixty five dollars. And I don't know. I don't exactly know why they were doing that. They said it was just a deal on Friday and I purchased these on Sunday. So clearly other people seeing these shoes for the two days that they were listed and they weren't interested. But for me, I'm very like knowledgeable on these type of sneakers. So for me, I had to grab up the deal. And not only not only that, but for those of you that use my Poshmark link, if you're brand new to Poshmark, I receive 10 bucks and you get 10 bucks on your first order. Right. So a decent amount of people was using my link and I had maybe 50 or 60 bucks in Poshmark credit. And at one point I had a lot of money in Poshmark credit because I wasn't buying. But of course, since quarantine started, I've been shopping like crazy. So these shoes are practically free for the most part. And the other ones I actually did have to spend money on, but just about, you know, just about free because I had a really good deal. So like I said, all three of these are tennis, literally tennis shoes. I know people in the Midwest say tennis shoes and they might be talking about sneakers in general, but these are actual tennis shoes. And these are the Nike Vapor, Nike Vapor 9.5 Tour uh, in this like pink, kind of like a hot pink colorway. And like I said, all three of these were 65 bucks. Um, I guess with shipping and tax, it came out to 75 bucks. So basically $25 each. And I had like 50 bucks in store credit, in Poshmark credit. So I really spent like $30 or like 20 something dollars at the end of the day for all three of these. So that was a hell of a deal. That was like thrift store prices. And starting with these, these were in the worst condition. I'll see if I can show you guys a little close up. These were kind of dirty. And this is an easy, easy fix, easy cleaning job. This isn't going to take long at all. This is an easy cleaning job for me right here. So I'm glad about that. Um, these shoes here, this, this one shoe in particular, another easy cleaning job on the bottoms. This person probably wore these once, maybe twice. I highly doubt they play tennis in these because they're just way too fresh to be ten to be played in. Um, then the other shoe, this is just a pair of Nike tennis. It says Nike Zoom. I don't remember the exact name. I think these are hard courts or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Hard cage. Um, if you do know the name, drop it in the comment section. But these shoes were really, really clean. Really, really clean. Practically brand new. I'm going to list them. I'm, I'm probably, I don't even know if these were worn, to be honest with you guys. They probably are brand new. Probably was tried on one. So I'm going to list these brand new without box. As you guys can see, and if there's any little scuffing because of the shoes, I'm going to just clean them up really quick. And the good thing about the three of these shoes that I'm going to, that, that I have here, all three of these shoes, I could at least get at the very least 55, maybe 70 bucks for these. I know these, once I get these cleaned up, I'll get at least 60 bucks for these because I've sold this same shoe in the past, same conditions, and I made a decent amount of profit. And then the save the best for last. These are the Nike Zoom Cage 2s, brand new without box as well. Really dope neon vault colorway, brand new without box, definitely never worn. And these are these, this is probably the best shoe. I'll probably get close to maybe 70 to maybe 80 bucks for these shoes. These were really, really clean. So I'm really glad I, I was able to kind of scoop these up and get a really good deal on them. Clearly, this person was either just finished with tennis and didn't want anything to do with it, or they were a, sell a reseller themselves and just wanted to get rid of some inventory. Who knows? I know a lot of people have been uh, messaging me and asking me to cash them out and buy some of their stuff, but some of the stuff they had just wasn't necessarily worth worth the money. But something like this is definitely worth it all day long. That person made a little money, and I'm going to make some money off it too. So everybody's good. They know what I'm on. Stop with the Give me strong. Hey, hey, let's go. First back in the day, and so I can't complain. For all the times I pray, carnivores don't come take them. Uh, Cause it's popping a pop a tune, I can't salute it. They raising red flags instead of raising solutions. 